Welcome back everyone. A pretty soggy setup throughout the valley for most of us releasing some light rain, but even some pockets of heavy rain, even some thunderstorms down in Davies, Knox over in Martin counties from Owensburg. You can see this pocket of some very heavy rain here that's draped down just to the north of the US 50 corridor from Plainville, just north of Washington. I'm sure Washington had some very heavy rain within the last hour or so. Monroe City to Vincennes picking up on again some very heavy rain, frequent lightning and news from the National Weather Service. They just let us know that with these thunderstorms, it looks like there is going to be a chance for some flash flooding. They have not put out any alerts for that here locally, but it is something we're going to be paying close attention to as the thunderstorm activity does look to continue as we roll through the rest of our evening tonight. Here's clouds and radar over the last uh, couple of hours. You can see it moving off to the east northeast here again, not looking at severe weather with what's moving through, but pockets of heavy rain certainly going to be a possibility over the next couple of hours. Looking back to our west, we do have an alert uh, for flooding. That's from Elfingham County down to Flora Olney and uh, just to the west of uh, Vincennes there. This is going to be for what is set to move in over the next day or so. Flood waters will continue to rise. Looking ahead at the remnants of Tropical Storm Bill that will make uh, their impact here in the valley. Looking ahead at the weekend and then again the reminder of the ongoing flood warning along the Wabash River there. You can find an updated look at those river stages over on our website WTHITV.com now there's that center of low pressure that we've been keeping an eye on again. The remnants of that tropical storm going to continue to press off to the northeast over the next couple of days. This center of low pressure paying close attention to its track. Several of the weather models almost agreeing on its uh, path just south of the Wabash Valley looks to move through the heart of the Ohio River Valley. The farther south it goes, the less rain we are going to expect overall, and that will cut down on our flooding concerns for especially areas north of I-70. But let's talk about tonight. As we head to the rest of our evening, you can see widespread showers, possibly even a few storms embedded in here, heading through the overnight. Same deal as well, putting us into our Friday morning. So if you do have plans for the rest of this evening, keep that rain gear handy. 81 degrees at 7 p.m. Temperatures stay pretty steady, but that rain also staying steady in the forecast as well. Well, big future cast back up at 7 o'clock on Friday again. Once again, tomorrow shaping up to be a pretty saturated day. We keep that overcast sky around and also that cloud cover. But watch this. Here's Saturday at 7 a.m. It looks like that center of low pressure is going to track by just to our south. So this particular weather model actually keeps rain out for most of Saturday. I do expect the morning and into the afternoon a chance of rain, but as we head into our Saturday afternoon, watch this. The sky then begins to clear by 5 p.m. I do expect there to be several dry hours during the second half of our Saturday, but then this line is going to approach for Sunday. Once again, going to put a chance of some pop up showers and storms back in as we head into our Sunday afternoon. So at this point, it looks like we could see more dry hours than we were originally expecting for the first part of our weekend. And that's good news for us. 68 degrees, your overnight low tonight. Showers and storms will be likely. 78 tomorrow. Again, rain going to be fairly likely. Also, temperatures slightly cooler. Again, your high of 78 on Friday. Heading into our Saturday, again, still have to... Uh, Keep an eye on those models as they continue to change here, but keeping a 60% chance of rain in mainly in the morning and in the afternoon for our Saturday. It's some dry time Saturday evening and on Sunday to wrap up our Father's Day weekend.